Hi, uh, welcome to another Jashaka tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lightsaber effect. So this is basically what we're going to be creating. So it's a light sword, white on the inside, I'll glow on the outside. As it goes around we get the motion blur and uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty decent attempt especially since it only took me 15-20 uh, minutes. As a forewarning, Jashaka is not After Effects. This is a lot harder than After Effects. Um, you can do something very similar to After Effects in something like Wax, and it'd probably be faster to do some uh, uh, a lightsaber effect in Wax using because it's got masks which are animatable, which is basically how you would do it in After Effects. In Jashaka, however, we don't have masks, and there's because of that, you have to unfortunately painstakingly draw each frame which is exactly how they actually did it in the original Star Wars so I suppose if you really wanted to do it you wouldn't mind doing it so I'll show you how to do it what I basically did I'm not going to go into the detail much for this first part simply because there's nothing hard about it it's just time consuming so what I did is I got my clip I brought it in and I found the point at which I wanted the lightsaber to start so let's say this part I went to tools and as you can see I got a fairly uniform background and what I tried to do was find a colour which was as different from my background as possible. The reason is because later on we want to cut it out and the easiest way to cut it out is if we can eliminate everything and this is so different that it won't eliminate that but unfortunately um, as Jashaka doesn't have masks we're gonna cheat by making this entire background black and just leaving the lightsaber and then be able to bring that in and effectively screen it on top of our footage and therefore showing the lightsaber. Uh, you'll get what I mean in a couple of seconds but uh, what all I did was so in this footage I decided to choose green because it seemed to be virtually zero green like there's a little bit of bluish there but uh, don't worry because later on you can change the glow of your <laughs> uh, your lightsaber. So I clicked on the line tool, increase my line width, I've got my green pen and literally I just go up like that and then you go through every single frame in fact I can do this a lot faster if I just click that Now the way I'm doing it, I wouldn't recommend doing it. I'd recommend taking a lot more time over this, but uh, this is literally just a quick thing to show you how to do it. If you want to know what I'd actually done is I went to effects and click advanced frame, so it advances the frame automatically. At the moment that's okay, later on you'll see that it's not okay because it, uh, it automatically advances after you've made one alteration, but uh, later on you will need to do more than one alteration. Uh -huh. yeah. So as you can see here, uh, we've got one bar there and one bar there. What's going on? It's not like I've suddenly duplicated it. It's simply motion blur. And the way the camera picks it up is two separate bars rather than the blur in between. And this is where you get the triangle formulation when you see any Star Wars movies and when you saw mine. Uh, and that's what makes it look realistic. It's the motion blur because it's light. So what you need to do here is I'm going to turn that advanced frame thing off. And what you, you gotta go up one side of the stick, then go up the other side of the stick, then connect them together to make a triangle. Then you need to fill the middle in. So you click on your fill bucket, you increase the range quite a bit, then your fill, you make that the same color, and just put it in. And there you go. Then you do it again for this one. So pen it up, then fill it up. This is actually working out ironically better than my first attempt, I think. And then fill it up. So as you can see, that's how you'd go through and you've got your... So to cut this out now, what we need to do is we need to go back to our 
stop footage and we're going to change the fill bucket to black we're going to change the pen tool to black and then we're going to click on the fill bucket and click on the background here and as you can see most of it is removed this part here isn't removed so the easiest way I found to do that is because the pens black and the fills black if we just click on this uh, square it'll actually just cover it up now we just do that for every single frame so again we could theoretically go do this advanced frame thing and very quickly go through and get rid of the majority of frames as you can see we've got something akin to that and then you could leave that it depends on your situation I, I got rid of all of them uh, as you can see and then all you do is just put on click over here to export that out so what I got is once this loads up is this basically so in blue Peter stall here's one I prepared earlier is taking a bit of time but that's simply because of the fact that I'm using the screen recording software I don't think it wants to work I'll try and see if I can show you in here so as you can see there's the green and it's moving and then there you go so we just have the movement of our lightsaber so now I'm going to go to animation module I'm going to add in my layer I'm going to add in my clip now as you can see it's got black bars and at the top and bottom now I don't know why that happened because it goes after a while sorry whoa, 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 whoa. wrong one uh, yeah whatever uh, sorry yeah there it is so yeah they go after a while so I don't know why but to kind of account for them I added in some black bars basically uh, da -da 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 -da. what I did was move that down to cover that black bar there this one that black bar now uh the the as I said you might not have to do that situation but I had to do that unfortunately then what I did is, this is the main thing now, uh, I'm, this is actually getting very confusing, so I'm going to name this uh, Top Ball and I'm going to name that Bottom Ball and I'm going to name that Raw Footage, so it's going to be Raw and I'll name this uh, da, 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 core so that's going to be the core of the lightsaber and we'll actually bring that down here so the core of the lightsaber so if we bring on our paint clip and we synchronize it up now all you can see is black so click on go to media click on key hey ho it's on top but it doesn't look all that good does it really let's be honest well the reason is because in real life lightsabers have blur they have glow and everything so what we're going to do is we're going to create go to controls I mean layers CPU effect we're going to click on colorize the middle of a lightsaber is always white so well generally so we're going to drop the saturation then we're going to layers CPU effect Gaussian blur 
it's also blurry so we're gonna blur it up a bit and that's starting to look a bit better but again it's just white what the hell so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new layer which is gonna be exactly the same layer unfortunately I don't know of a way of copying layers inside of Sharker but so we're gonna blow drop that below the core and we're gonna name that let's say inner glow and we're gonna bring the exact same paint clip on top so no difference and that one's gonna be media as well and now the computer seems to have stopped responding which is nice of it and with that one we're gonna do layers so if we get rid of this uh, so we can see a bit better Lay layers CPU effect and we're gonna do Gaussian blur and then we'll just punch this up to let's say 60 for example and as you can see now I've got a bit of a glow so if I put that if I increase my core now you can see there's a small amount of green glow around it small small amount not a lot but it gives it a bit of glow and it makes it look I suppose semi decent and there you go there's a bit of a glow there but I want more of a glow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer so add layer exactly same thing that's going to be let's say name that outer glow click on accept and then with this one we're going to go to layers CPU effect oh wait I need to add the actual clip first <laughs> click on media click on key then go to layers uh, uh, to glow CPU effect Gaussian blur controls and now I'm going to bust that up let's say to 120 And I don't know if you can see it now, there's a much larger glow outside, uh, basically giving it a better look of a lightsaber. And there we go, that, that looks pretty decent, I think. And that is how you would make a lightsaber. So some of you might be wondering, well, I want my lightsaber to be red or not. I don't, what the hell? What, what are you playing at? So go to Inner Glow, click on Layers, CPU Effect, Colorize controls and then you can just change your color by just adjusting the saturation as you want it so what I do is I turn off the thingy glow so I think that's a reddish color I'm not sure um, oh sorry not saturation hue I'm sure I saw red there that looks like reddish, so minus 316. Now, all I'm going to do is go to Auto Glow and do exactly the same thing. So, CPU effect, colorize, and go to controls. I'm going to punch in minus 316, see what happens. And there you go, I've now got a red lightsaber. So, it's actually fairly easy to then change it. Now, one thing some people might be thinking, well, as to change a small thing like that, I need to do a whole load of different things. Well, one of the great things about this is what you could actually do theoretically is let's get rid of that. Now you've got your entire glow there. So now you could just render that out as a single thing, then stick it on top of your paint clip. Then you wouldn't need all these three uh, three things, and then you you just have one layer, and you'd just be messing around with one layer and see how that works if you get me. But uh, I hope you found this tutorial informative. I hope this has shown you how to do it in Sharker, another way of doing it. Um, by all means try it. If you make anything of it, by all means let me know. You know, you don't have to like mention me or anything, but let me know because I like seeing what other people can come up with and ex if you found a better way of doing it, by all means again let me know. But uh, yeah, this is how you would make a lightsaber inside of Sharker. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let again, let me know. Either send me a message or leave a comment, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, if you have any specific effects that you want to know uh, about, uh, again, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I can't guarantee to be able to do every single effect simply because there is a limitation on this software, but uh, I will try my best. Uh, thank you for watching.
and hopefully I shall speak to you soon.